Florida. This is where the federal government will give employers up to $26,000 per qualified employee. So if you had 10, that would be up to over a quarter of a million bucks. If you had 20, up to just over half a million, and so on. And there's two different ways to qualify. And what is a crying shame, a lot of people think you have to have both. And a lot of people were told, even by their CPAs, that if your gross revenue wasn't down by a certain amount, you didn't qualify. Not true. There's a different independent way to qualify. It's either or. Bottom line is, you can just contact us. We'll tell you if you qualify. And if you do, let's get your free money from the federal government. It's a grant. That means you don't pay it back. It's not a loan. It's just yours to do with as you please. 888-TAX-DEAL. That's 888-T-A-X-D-E-A-L. 888-TAX-DEAL. Or MoskowitzLLP.com. M-O-S-K-O-W. ITZLLP.com. Coming up on KCBS, I'm David Welch. The number of shark sightings during this month's Sharktober has been eerily low. KCBS News Time 1245. Time now for sports football. The 49ers gave up several draft picks, acquiring Christian McCaffrey from Carolina, but it paid off big time Sunday. As McCaffrey became the first NFL player in 15 years and the first ever in 49er history to run for a touchdown, pass for a touchdown, and catch a touchdown pass in the same game. It was a major factor in the 49ers 31-14 win over the Rams in Los Angeles. Basketball Warriors lost to the Pistons at Detroit 128-114. Meanwhile, some 49er news from KCBS's Stephen Langford. In the midst of the World Series, San Francisco Giants fans are hoping their path back to the Fall Classic starts with this offseason. As Yankee slugger Aaron Judge has drawn interest from numerous teams, which includes the San Francisco Giants. Yankees beat writer Randy Miller has been at the forefront of the latest reporting with Judge, and he feels that Judge's next destination is in San Francisco. At the beginning of the year, I thought there was a 75-80% chance Judge is coming back, and now I feel it's... Uh, over 95% chance that he's going to the Giants. That's how strong they feel. That was Randy Miller on A's cast. As a native of Linden, California, Judge grew up a Giants fan, so it would be a childhood dream for the Yankees outfielder to play for his hometown team. But why such a high percentage? What I'm hearing is the Giants are not going to be underbid, that they, their feeling is, is that they are going to make the highest offer, and they're also going to get a second free agent to put somebody in the lineup with them. Now, Judge is going to command a contract north of $300 million, so the Giants are primed to do some big spending this offseason. At the Sports Desk, I'm Stephen Langford, KCBS. Real talk, kids are going to kid. And sometimes that can look messier, ickier, and stickier than we'd like to admit. We can't always protect our kids from chewing on borrowed pencils, sharing lip gloss, or wild sneezes. But there is one thing we can protect them from, and that's COVID-19. Keep your family safer with vaccines and boosters. Find one near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Side sleeping is better for you, and European Sleepworks can get you through any challenges it may create. They blend their meticulously chosen elements into a harmony of solutions. From their famous custom-fit oxygen pillows to their ingenious blend of mattress components, they somehow combine them into such a comfortable rest that it's music to the ears and bodies of side sleepers. Come try for yourself at European Sleepworks at Adeline and Ashby in Berkeley or online at sleepworks.com. Frank Munich is back. He's got our latest look at traffic. Well, we're uh, not looking at uh, much uh, in the way of trouble. We do have a uh, problem being reported on uh, Mount Diablo, uh, the Mount Diablo Boulevard on ramp to uh, westbound 24. Uh, that as you uh, leave uh, Walnut Creek and head towards Lafayette, we have a, a stalled trailer blocking the far right lane there. Uh, we've been dealing with this problem for a little while in Venetia, southbound 680, just past Marshview Road. Uh, that's an injury crash. All but the uh, far left lane remains shut down there. Uh, that uh, crash involving an overturned car. 
Uh, so that uh, continues to be a problem, traffic getting by single file in that far left lane. Remember, you can get updated traffic information as well as uh, contribute some traffic information of your own at uh, KCBS AM FM Traffic, our Twitter feed. You can uh, also um, type in the hashtag uh, KCBS Traffic to uh, let us know what you're seeing out on the roadways. Your next update at 12.58 on the Traffic Leader KCBS. It'll be a mostly cloudy Monday in the Bay Area with patchy morning fog. Highs ranging from the upper 50s at the coast to the upper 60s inland. In case you haven't heard, rain is headed our way. It should arrive late Monday into early Tuesday. The hope being it won't start until after the kids are done trick-or-treating Monday night. It will be uh, partly to mostly cloudy and cooler for the remainder of the week. Uh, as I said, rain likely on Tuesday. There's a chance of it on Wednesday. Highs during the week, mostly in the 50s and 60s. Right now in San Francisco, it's 54 degrees. In Pacifica and Lafayette, 52 degrees. In Los Gatos, 50 degrees. In Petaluma, 46 degrees. Traffic and weather together on the 8s on All News 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. Deborah Ingerson is at the KCBS Editor's Desk. KCBS News Time is 12.50. October is normally a busy month for shark activity off the northern California coast, but as KCBS's David Welch reports, shark sightings have been considerably lower this year. In years past, there were so many white sharks sitting off our coast that some experts dubbed this month Sharktober. But this year, shark attacks in the area known as the Red Triangle have been down. Part of that triangle includes the Farallon Islands, where biologist Jim Teets has been taking part in seasonal white shark surveys for two decades now. We could be getting an average number of shark attacks, and we're just seeing fewer of them, or it's possible that the sharks are moving to places where there is more food that they want to eat. It's important to point out that it doesn't mean attacks on humans. Shark surveyors count the number of attacks on pinnipeds, like the shark's favorite food, the elephant seal. Biologists say California's white shark population has remained steady and has even grown in numbers. However, experts don't have answers for why the number of attacks have dropped this year. Teats, though, has a theory. The number of elephant seals at the Farallon has been declining over the past 20 years, and the number of elephant seals along the California coast has been increasing. David Welch. KCBS. The whale migration has made a pit stop off the coast of Santa Cruz. KCBS's Jennifer Hodges says people have been stopping to try and grab a look. People dotting the coast right now on West Cliff Drive near the surfing museum here in Santa Cruz after getting reports of plenty of whales. I'm just fascinated by them because they're like mammals like us. Just to see them out there is, you know, Magical. Typically it's humpbacks, but some people tell on KCBS they did see orcas earlier this week. Yeah, I even researched it and confirmed that they were orcas. There were two of them. You, you see a lot of them were spouting out of the water. Some say it's because there is an abundant food source. The water is completely black, covered with anchovies, you know, and some, a few sardines and stuff like that. Locals have been lining the area between Mitchells and Natural Bridges, trying to catch a glimpse of whales. Anytime I might go to the ocean, I always try to look and, look and see, even if it's just the spout. Yes. Oh. Along the coast in Santa Cruz, Jennifer Hodges, KCBS. Many say Halloween is bigger than ever, and that certainly is the case with the latest trick-or-treat trend. And they are giant illuminated animatron monsters, witches, skeletons, and other scary characters. Some as high as 10 feet tall. KCBS's Jeffrey Schaub is our Halloween correspondent. They're scary, all right. <laughs> Especially if you're less than three feet tall. Hi, Avery. How you doing? Good. What do you think about these big scary monsters there? Uh, they're scary <laughs> and they're really big. You want to see what's in my bag? Just stick your head in. 
At the Marin City Spirit Halloween store, Disney couldn't have done it better. There are truly deranged, larger-than-life animatronic characters, werewolves, dragons, skeletons, a glowing red-eyed pit bull that darts out from a doghouse when you walk by. Jared Furtado is a father of three. It's the rage now, $400 for a screaming monster or whatever. What do you, how do you feel about that? Um, yeah, I saw that they've been selling out, like, the giant skeletons. Um, yeah, probably something I wouldn't buy, but it's fun. I think the neighbors have it. Happy Halloween! <laughs> In the North Bay, Jeffrey Schaub, KCBS. So, what plans do you have for your body?